Hi everyone, welcome to this lesson today. Uh, this is going to be a lesson fully dedicated to start to very end of everything you could want to know about acoustic guitar hybrid picking, um, which what I was doing just then a little bit of. Um, if you've taken some of my other lessons, you would have probably heard me talk about hybrid picking a fair bit, um, and obviously definitely shown some examples of it teaching uh, Richard's music, Richard Thompson's music, which says, um, you know, he's a big user of acoustic um, hybrid picking, he does it on electric too. Um, but uh, muting is a really big part of hybrid picking, um, and this is where we get into hand position. So, in most occasions, you're going to want to mute the bottom strings. Um, again, this helps give some definition. If they're both ringing out the same uh, amount, it can get a bit just cacophonous, and there's not a lot of it's hard to kind of differentiate the two things you're playing. But if you start muting this one, um, it just again helps balance the volumes, but it also keeps the bass underneath everything, so what you're playing on the top really speaks. So what I try and tend to do is, um, is use these clusters, uh, and so I'll use these quite a lot. Um, so this is a really good thing to do to just test your balance and your hand position. So on a D chord, play uh, these three string clusters, starting from the bottom three strings, and then keep going up. So bottom three, five, four, and three, then four, three, and two, and then three, two, and one. And this is something you've probably done if you've done any finger picking before. This will be very uh, familiar to you, but we're going to do it in this certain style. Um, and I'm going to use one of Richard's uh, songs uh, as an example as well. Um, but simply, it's just doing this kind of arpe arpeggiated um, so here we go nice and slowly just this little passage of those um, those thirds moving up and down over D. So here we go. If you're playing something like this and you want to improvise, Again, it's the same thing. I'm I, I'm I'm not thinking about that bass part. I'm letting it go, and then I'm free to play on all those beats syncopated, um, and I don't I don't get caught up by it because I've done these exercises where I've reduced it down to all these beats. About as hard as it gets. Two little things I think worth pointing out. That first beat is on an off beat, so that's when your fingers are going up at the same time. So it's on an up stroke with your pick. Hard. Um, and then that uh, flat picking it's gonna we're gonna go uh, on the open a string it's gonna be an up and then down on the second fret and then an up again.